What things do you consider assets? And I'll give you a hint, it's not your retirement accounts or your house. Watch this video to find out how you can turn your liabilities into assets. My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. For the best infinite banking and financial advice, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when we upload new videos. Do you understand the difference between an asset and a liability? In this video, we're gonna go through the basic fundamentals of financial education and banking. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what an asset and a liability is and how you can control your cash flow. All right, so let's start with an asset. An asset, just to be simply frank, is something that puts money into your pocket. I'll say that one more time. An asset is something that puts money into your pocket. And we aren't going to overcomplicate this situation at all. We're gonna break it down super simple. So again, think about some of the things that you consider to be assets. Are they putting money in your pocket? And a liability, just to be simply frank, <laughs> is something that takes money out of your pocket. What things do you have that you're putting money into that you don't get a return from? So uh, simply put, a liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. So now that you know this information, we're gonna ask you a little question as a test. And this is a question that we ask on our Infinite Banking 101 Masterclass, mm -hmm. which is, does a bank consider your deposits as a liability or an asset? Traditionally, we think that the banks think our deposits into their bank are assets, but they're not because if we get our money back and plus the small amount of interest that they owe to us, it's considered a liability. So the only way to turn a liability into an asset is? Lending. Yes. Turning those deposits into loans that go out and bring the cash flow back in. So to reiterate what Darius was saying is our deposits are liabilities to the bank. Mm -hmm. You would think that they would be assets, but the fact is when we go to take money out of the bank, we're taking money out of their pocket, so to speak, even though it's our money and they owe us the interest. So those are things to take into consideration. So when we talk about banking, it's all about putting yourself in the mind frame of a bank. What would the banks do? WWBD. <laughs> so we need <laughs> yeah, a bracelet. For that <laughs> <laughs> so we, we need to make sure what would the banks do? What would the banks do? In this case, they take our deposits and turn them into assets in the form of loans mm -hmm. that they give to all of us for cards, mortgages, credit cards, personal loans, all that jazz. Wow. So they do com the complete opposite of what we would have traditionally think of what's assets to us are liabilities to banks and what's liabilities to us are assets to the bank. It's reversed. So if we become our own source of finance or i.e. become our own banker, we have to start thinking like the bank, which means we have to start thinking completely opposite of what we're taught. We're taught. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those liabilities. So let's talk about turning our liabilities into assets. Mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to turn our liabilities into assets, we do the exact same thing that the banks do. They've given us a script or blueprint exactly how to do this, how to become our own source of finance. And that is by getting loans from ourselves or from our whole life insurance policies and then financing the things that we want or normally would finance through a bank, i.e. our cars, our mortgages, or other large expenses that we would finance through a bank, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it doesn't even have to be on like large scales like that because we immediately go to thinking about cars, houses, but think about Education. all yeah, yeah. Think about all the other expenses that are that are liabilities, taking money out of our pocket, our day to day expenses that are costing money. How can we create cash flow in our banking system to finance those things and then pay it back to ourselves, yeah. so that we create this um, circle system of just constant cash flow. So that's the the whole point of really understanding the difference between assets and liabilities mm -hmm. from a bank's standpoint and not that what and not what we've been taught mm -hmm. because traditional finance would teach us that a mortgage or a home is an asset but the fact of the matter is it isn't depending on how you're using it if, if it's cash flowing that's different but if it's a home that you live in it's an expense because not only are you paying principal and interest back to the bank every month all the other money that's coming out in the form of expenses, taxes, insurance, yeah. HOA, those are all things that are taking money out of your pocket. And that's even if you own the house outright where you're yeah. not making any payments on it, you own the home Com outright. 
Completely. But you still have to pay taxes on it. Yeah. Just like you said. Yeah, it's taking money out of your pocket. So we want to start uh, planting little nuggets <laughs> in your brain, planting seeds so that you can start really thinking about things like, wow, it, is my mortgage really an asset? Mm -hmm. If you have somebody renting it and paying you money and it's cash flowing, that's different. It's different yeah. But we're talking about the fact of the, the mortgage or the things that we strive to have mm -hmm. with the American dream. So uh, whose liability or asset is it really? In this case, your mortgage is an asset to the bank, but it's your liability. Right, and when it comes to creating our banking system, just remember the banks finance every single thing for us because you may think that you're going to on vacation, but you're using a credit card, that credit card is financing your vacation, so i.e. the bank is still financing it. Mm -hmm. So there's an opportunity for you to recapture those payments back to yourself to turn those liabilities into assets. Yeah, because that vacation was a liability. It was mm -hmm. an expense that took money out of your pocket. So now we have to figure out what are the creative ways that you can inject into your financial system where you can have that vacation be paid out of the profits or the cash flow mm -hmm. that you're making through your banking system. Yes, the name of the game is to copy exactly what other successful businesses or people are doing. And in this case, we're gonna be copying exactly what the banks are doing because mm -hmm. they have all the money. So let's do exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. If they're rich, then we're gonna be rich along with them and do exactly what they do, right? Yeah, absolutely. And the other point to note is, okay, so now that we've addressed assets and liabilities, now we're talking about controlling your cash flow. Mm -hmm. Because once you understand those two points, now we move to cash flow. Because mm -hmm. again, when banks generate assets, that creates cash flow for them. Mm -hmm. So you always have to think about what are the opportunities where you can create cash flow, where you can generate money for yourself and act like the bank would. It's yes. all about what would the bank do. I love what you said, you said control. Mm -hmm. If you can control your cash flow, then you can control your financial fate. Right now, the banks are able to control their cash flow by the loans that they're able to provide for us. Mm -hmm. If we're able to take back control of those things, then we can control, like Carmen said, our cash flow. Control. That's the name of the, the, the game. Control your money. So we're getting hyped up over here. Go <laughs> ahead and comment below and say, I get it if you're picking up what we're putting down. And also a good video for you guys to check out that we did previously is how to own your own debt. And again, we're talking about cash flow. What would the banks do? And it's all about you learning how to control your own debt. So go ahead and click on the video up here right. where you can actually see this new video, but check that out after this one. Earlier, I mentioned control. And when it comes to control, let's start thinking about planning for the future because there's different things that we don't think about outside of our mortgage, our cars and uh, our education, it's we have aging parents and we have to really think about what's going to happen with our parents financially as they get older. We have children that, that get older. We don't have any kids, but from what I've seen with all of our friends, kids don't get cheaper, they get more expensive as they get older. Mm -hmm. So as they go to college and you have to front those bills, it's more planning that you have to do to make sure that you're in a good financial space to be able to take care of it. And this is a good point that Darius makes because when we talk about financial planning and financial control, sometimes the buck just stops at our monthly expenses. Right. And we don't take the time to really have the foresight that we need to see what's gonna happen in the future and do some forecasting. So those are things that we see that end up biting people in the butt with medical expenses in college, like Darius said, because these are things we didn't plan for. So again, talking about those liabilities and assets, besides your homes, your cars, and education, people are huge liabilities. And don't take this the wrong way, but yeah. our family can be assets or liabilities in our lives. And we have to make sure that we are planning for those liabilities, regardless of what it is. So the name of the game with this video is all about cash flow and understanding the difference between assets and liabilities, mm -hmm. being woke <laughs> to the concept, and then understanding how to execute. Now that you know the difference between an asset and a liability, how do you turn your liabilities into assets? Well, we've created a free guide with 52 different ways that you can turn your liabilities into assets. The link's below for you to download it right now. And if you would like to join a community of like-minded individuals who are all about infinite banking, then join our Patreon community where we teach you how to own your own lifestyle through the infinite banking concept. If you like this video, let us know by hitting the like button, share it, 
and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And with that said, remember, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.